Did you know that your skin was made up of 64% water? Well, Laneige knows, and that's why they built a whole brand around it. Hey y'all, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope everybody out there is in good health and good spirits. How am I? So glad you asked. Y'all, this week I've had an unlimited pass on the struggle bus and I've been swiping, 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 swiping. Between my alternator dying on me, fighting with Uber Eats this week and dropping a curling iron, on my forehead or a, a pressing comb on my forehead y'all i have been batting zero <laughs> but that's okay that's okay sometimes you're the windshield and sometimes you're the bug quick story so i have had wigs that were like lace parting before i have had lace closures in my sew-ins but i've never had like a lace closure in a wig like a, a four by four or five by five i've never had a frontal so y'all didn't tell me like how much effort and work it took to like make these things look like something and i still don't have it i still don't have it i don't so anyway i'm standing in the mirror minding my own business fighting and wrestling like the wwe with some hair and I lost because I got in a fight with the pressing comb and dropped it on my forehead. And don't y'all laugh at me because I know some of y'all grew up in the pressing comb era. Some of you all were electric and some of you all grew up with Kentucky made on a stove. And if you remember, you were probably getting your hair pressed for like Sunday morning or a holiday or just at any time in the week and you know you constantly flinching because you are waiting on your mama or your grandmama whoever's pressing your hair to miss and drop that comb on the back of your neck or on the top of your ears or if you had a bang it was touch and go with the forehead so no judgment i know some of y'all know what i'm talking about and i was going back and forth trying to get ready i had put a hat on or whatever the case and took it off and just decided you know what y'all gonna get this burn because it is what it is this is life and on the top of topic of skincare if you have like a burn or a cut or something that you're trying to heal you want to keep it moisturized but you also want to keep that thing clean so i was really hesitant to go and like pile tons of foundation and concealer and stuff on top of this burn that i'm trying to get to heal so this is me this is what you're gonna get it ain't perfect but here we are we gonna love ourselves where we are today so with that being said let us talk about Laneige. So I was introduced to Laneige via Sephora's Beauty Insider program. And if you're not familiar with that, Sephora has one of those loyalty programs where you accumulate points for every purchase you make. And another perk they have is birthday gifts. And I'm not gonna lie to you all, Sephora and especially Ulta, the birthday gifts some years are hit and miss. That's just me being completely honest. But this year, I was excited to try the Laneige gift set that they had. It came with a mini moisturizer, a mini sleeping mask, and a mini lip mask. And as you may have seen in my video earlier this month, talking about my skincare routine, Laneige became a brand that I incorporated into my skincare routine this month and I've been trying it out. I also purchased the travel set that they offer 
and I've been traveling with it as my primary skincare on the road. So, Laneige, that's a French name, but the company is actually Korean. The brand was started in 1994 in Korea, and it revolutionizes or aims to revolutionize skincare with an emphasis on like clean, clear, fresh skin, but also an emphasis on harnessing the power of water. Because again, your skin is made mostly of water and water is one of the simplest ways to provide true hydration. So I ended up purchasing three of the full-size Laneige products for my routine. I have the Water Bank Hydro Essence, which is a hydration serum. I have the Laneige Sleeping Care Water Sleeping Mask, and I have the Laneige Sleeping Care Lip Sleeping Mask. So, I have those three products and I have been using them fairly consistency, consistently since, well, my birthday was in June, since June. And I'll also talk about a bonus product. So friends, you may be wondering why the change in outfit and the sudden change of quaff. It's actually three days later, and when I initially sat down to edit my footage, I came to the startling realization that I had somehow managed to not record the entire second half of this video. So y'all, struggle bus, Lord help, let's finally talk about these Laneige products. So in terms of my skincare routine, I'm learning to incorporate serum as the next step between my cleanser and my moisturizer. And in the case of my self-care Sunday or my midweek pick-me-up, when I use my Laneige products, I'm gonna cleanse first, and then I follow up with the Laneige um, Hydro Essence Serum. And this serum is actually supposed to prevent water loss and boost hydration. And I don't know why it just kind of felt like a light bulb moment for me. When I'm thinking about moisturizers and hydration, I'm constantly think about, thinking about how can I get the moisture into my skin? How can I make it more hydrated? But I just never really consider the idea of keeping that moisture in once it's there. So the water loss prevention thing is kind of an aha moment for me. Also, this product boosts Laneige's green mineral water. So going back to that whole emphasis on advanced water science, Laneige has several different like water complexes and the green mineral water is a specially brewed one that they offer. And in the case of this serum, it actually features kale, watercress, and beetroot as some of the core extracts and ingredients that make this product work. And I can say I really enjoy this hydro essence. I've used a couple different serums y'all seen uh, me use at least two uh, on this channel and they work pretty well. I mean, they go on smooth and they kind of help the next product work, but this serum really does feel very emollient on the skin. It is gentle. It doesn't really have a smell. So, so far, so good. Then I would follow up with the Laneige a sleeping care water sleeping mask which is meant to brighten and purify the skin and it features hydro ionized water that is supposed to pick up skin that is stretched stressed and parched which is exactly what I use it for midweek and end of week it has apricot and evening primrose and in terms of the scent, 
there is a calming, a proprietary calming scent that they use that has orange flower extract, rose extract, and sandalwood oil. They're either extracts or oil, but orange flower, rose, and sandalwood for sure, which I've seen commonly used in like essential oil combinations and aromatherapy. But honestly, for those scents to be in here, they're really not obvious. Like you can smell it, but it's nothing obnoxious. And I appreciate that, especially with my sinuses and my skin being sensitive. This is what it looks like. Hopefully you guys can kind of see. It's got like a jelly-like texture um, to it. It goes on very smooth. And I like the fact that it's not like sticky. So... I've always been concerned about using sleeping masks or night masks because I was worried about them being messy, like putting it on before I went to bed and getting it all over my pillowcase, giving my husband a facial that he didn't ask for or whatever the case may be. But I find when I put it on, it actually kind of dries down fairly quickly it doesn't completely dissipate like a lotion but it stops being overly wet fairly quickly so that i can really appreciate and this sleeping mask actually comes in three different varieties the one i have here which is like the basic original there's a lavender one if you want more of that sleepy time type feeling and, and experience and then there's a Sika sleeping mask that is formulated more for sensitive skin so this is the product one of the products that i have used the longest and i can say that it legit does what it says it's going to do in terms of brightening and picking the skin up and immediately making it look refreshed i did use it last night i can tell the difference which for me is imperative this time of year because it is the cooler months the air is drier and for me with me having sinus drainages, I'm constantly blowing my nose and there's nothing worse than your face being, than your face being completely raw right across the middle. Um, or, you know, underneath your mask, just being dry. So definitely like this product. And then last but not least within that, um, self-care routine is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This mask comes in nine different scents. They have usually some seasonal scents that they'll do like the peach iced tea, which is what I have here from the summertime. And then this time of the year, they have like a gingerbread and a peppermint. And I believe there's a cinnamon scent that is reminiscent of the winter holidays. This is what it looks like kind of a nice balmy texture it's a, actually a softening balm that is supposed to give us a protective film over our lips now i use this one twice a week as well i have a lot of problems with my lips because i do things i'm not supposed to i lick my lips all the time sometimes i'll bite my lips and don't even realize i'm doing it and it goes through that cycle of drying out splitting healing drying out splitting healing which is not good and it got to a point where i actually have a little scar like right in the middle of my bottom lip but excuse me i can tell that over time the past six months using this on a regular basis my lips are softer they are less dry and the scar is actually less prominent it's less hard. So it's definitely giving some long-term effects and it's great preparation for my lip products and so on and so forth. I also like the fact that this balm isn't greasy. It's very much the texture of a lip balm that you would want to wear out, just slightly more rich. Much like the sleeping mask, it doesn't go on greasy. 
and it dries down just a little bit. So when you get in the bed, you don't have to really worry about it, you know, jacking up your sheets or whatever the case may be. So those are the three products that I've incorporated into my treatment regimen. I also had the opportunity to try the water bank moisture cream and the moisturizing cream cleansers. I do not have full size versions of these simply because I already have a, a cleanser, actually more than one cleanser and moisturizer that I already have on hand. And with the price point of these, which we'll get to, and just didn't make economic sense right now. But I do travel with these in the Laneige Hydration To Go travel kit. So in terms of the moisturizer, it is meant to hydrate, soothe, and balance. I will use this after the cleanser. And it also has that green mineral water. But in this case, it hails extracts from Brussels sprouts, artichokes and lima beans now y'all i love green vegetables there are very few green vegetables i have met that i just don't like but i hate lima beans i hate most beans unless they're in something fun fact but i will take them on my skin <laughs> if they do what they're supposed to do and they do in terms of keeping my skin hydrated and a defensive moisture barrier as Laneige touts, which is important for me because if I'm traveling, you've got all this dry, compressed and recycled air in the case of a plane and your skin just kind of feels like just not stale. It feels stale when you finally land and get where you're going. So having something like this um, moisture, this water bank moisturizer to wake up the skin and make it actually feel alive again is great. It is very much a cream. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, I don't want to use too much of it but it's it's a cream texture and it leans more jelly than like creamy you know we'll go ahead and put some of that on um in terms of the texture which i like i am partial to jelly and gel textured moisturizers it's not greasy which I really, really love, but it is nice, rich and emollient. I can smell the scent a little bit more on this moisturizer than the other products, but it's still not obnoxious or anything that will get on your nerves. And then the moisturizing cream cleanser, which self-explanatory for cleansing and moisturizing is really, really great. It has like a milky, silky type texture that leaves the skin very clean without leaving it stripped. So those are the five products that I have tried so far from Laneige. In terms of value for price, these are a little more expensive than your drugstore uh your drugstore skincare products they are very much prestige they sit on the shelves of sephora they are less expensive than some other brands that have three figure products consistently but again it's more expensive than oil of olay this serum was 38 dollars and you get 2.3 fluid ounces of it and then the water sleeping mask is $25 for 2.3 fluid ounces. And then the lip sleeping mask is $22 for 0.7 ounces. I am not 100% sure about the moisturizer and the clean cream cleanser because 
I don't have full size versions of it, but I can tell you that the sets that these come in are only $29. So that's a great inexpensive way to get five or six of these products to try and see if they're worth the investment. So spoiler alert, in terms of the verdict, I did end up trying the smaller versions of these and getting the full size versions at those prices because I enjoyed them that much. And for what it's worth, I only use like two pumps of this at a time. I use very little of this at a time. It's gonna take me forever to get through these products, hopefully before they expire. Um, so it'll be a while before I have to reinvest that much money. So value for price, if you can spring it and splurge a little bit, you'll have it for a while if you don't just go scooping it out of the jar. I, um, if I had to give each individual product, I would give Hydro Essence a higher and mighty. I would give this sleeping mask a high and mighty and I would give the lip sleeping mask a high and mighty, which is rare. I mean, the Laneige products that I have tried so far have become a staple and have easily become some of the favorite skincare products I have used in my lifetime. So anything that I just mentioned, I would highly recommend that, you know, other people try. So you guys, please do let me know if you have tried Laneige products or any other prestige skincare brand. And if not, tell me what you're using or what you're looking forward to trying. I really enjoy having these conversations with you guys and, and hearing about how you take care of yourself. Tell me what your self-care routine is, whether it be exercise or reading a good book or dancing like nobody's watching. Share. I want to hear from you. So with that being said, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, do what you love, love what you do, and keep at it. Keep hope alive, and I will see you guys on the next one.